I kind of get the feeling we're becoming friends now. So I want to move on to a softer subject. The softer vegetables, the super little cool things, and fruits. I'm sorry, vegetable. Sorry, fruit. So nice and soft, easy to cut. What are you going to do with them? Hmm. I want to um, make an apple pie with my Honeycrisp and my Granny Smith and my uh, aromas and all my other things, whatever you want to put in there. What am I going to cut it with? Oh, look at so many choices. Well, I'm going to use a combination of my tiny knife and my little babies. Okay, so this one's a little longer, so it cuts through the apple, all right? So straight through the middle. There she rolls. Cut it again. Now we got quarters. And notice I'm holding it. Now, I'm, I'm not holding the, the like I hold a bigger knife, but I still hold my fingers on both sides so that I have control of the pull. Now, I'll wipe that off, and I'm going to go for my smaller knife. Why? Because I want to show you how much control you have with this tiny little paring knife. Take your knife. Now, you have, this is where you hold it differently. See, this is where you can put it in your hand. You've got a full-size um, handle, but you just have the small edge sticking out. So you're kind of just holding it like that. All right, does that make sense? I think so. All right, now cutting through with the tip of it, just with a little bit, see I'm sliding a little bit just to get it to cut through. So now you haven't, it's super easy to core a apple. If you know the old skit with uh, Jackie Gleason, does it core apple? Yes, it does. You just push through it, go around and just, huh, uh, and out. So I can do this all day long. All right, get rid of the core, middle, seeds, the arsenic, everything that's in those seeds, whatever, who knows. All right, so now you want to cut these into whatever shapes you want. I'm, I'm all, um, opting to leave the, the skin on there. You know what? I just want to eat it. A delicious apple. You can slice it. You can dice it. You can do whatever you want. Okay, zucchini, another soft product to work with. What do I want to work with? This knife. Why? Because it has little grommets in there. This has a tendency to stick. Cut the tip off. Cut, cut the, the bottom off. Put them off to the side. Put them into manageable sizes like that. Okay. And I think I want little quarters on this one. Just little quarters. So by taking this, and this is where you can show up. There's no rocking of the knife here. It's soft. So now you got chips, little chippies, all right? All right, so here, maybe I want half moons. Maybe I want thicker pieces. I move my finger a little bit further, and I have thicker half moons. All right? Oh, such a comfortable knife to work with. I love it. So there you've got little quarter moons, half moons. You want to dice them? Okay, you can dice. So what I do is, is I just uh, slice them into smaller pieces, right? I'm not really showing you, but here, look, cut them. I cut towards the core a little bit. So now I've got um, a quarter piece of the zucchini, and now I want to dice it. That's good for ratatouille. That's good for relish. It's good for making a soup with, with uh, meatballs in it. I'll go, you know, a little... Uh, a bombiga soup, and you put those in there. Now you've got yourself a combination of the flat Japanese-shaped um, uh, slicer, um, cutting knife, small paring knife, and a slightly larger one just to get through the apple in the first place. Nice and soft.